Hello friends, I am Professor Ajit Tripathi. I am PhD in Mathematics, carrying 13 years of teaching experience in the field of Science and Mathematics. So I am here to explain you all the concepts related to Science and Mathematics. It's typical concept which I have seen that each and every student would like to see or understand that, oh my god, it's very typical. So, what were questions that you have related to all those topics that you are not understanding? You can come to me, you can message me at any time. I'll be ready. I'll try to give the efficient answer of all those questions which you would like to ask to me. So, let's start here. Today, I'm going to choose one of the topic of in mathematics here. So, I'm opening the book. It's an online book. It is the best book regarding to online tuition. So, fundamentally, we can understand here that uh, any of topic you can choose. That suppose you can choose here like uh, simplification. Okay, simplification we can choose here. So in simplification, fundamentally, you have to understand one important thing that as usual, there are many type of simplification, but here that we are going to understand about simple simplification in which one there will be few variables and few constant will be there. One more important thing is here that I want to tell all of you that what are constants? Constants are those values which never change. So let's start and see what type of question is here. And in brief, that I want to tell all of you that if this type of simplification, which I'm going to explain, that will come in your test or exam. So simply just keep that in your mind that uh, you have to take variables altogether and constant altogether then apply the required operation of either addition subtraction multiplication or division that will be much convenient for you to understand also i'm trying to explain that to you if there will be any problem then you can ask me at any time oh yes here you can see that on your screen clearly that uh, variables variables that means algebra uses letters call variables to represent unknown numbers unknown numbers that means whose value doesn't define so if you would like to think about numerals or numeric values so either 10 20 30 40 so clearly you can understand that there is specific value that will be given in your question but suppose that variable is given so you don't know about that what value that you have to plug in there or what value that there should be so let's start Here they are saying that algebra is used in real life to describe the relationship between the different quantities. So basically without it all computers, many buildings or even games may never be, never have been designed and built. So that means fundamentally we have to understand all these related to simplification here first question is what is a plus a a plus a you can see that there is a variable variable that means a plus a you can understand that it is just like as mango plus mango so that in that way your answer will be two mango that means here also yes you are thinking right here will be two a that will be your answer let's see that what computer says here a plus a yes that will be two a's so you have to understand one thing also that if the same type of variable will be there you have to add them together constant or numeric values you have to add subtract multiply or divide whatever that will be given in that simplification it is the simplest way to understand and also to solve that one and let's see like terms yeah that's why i was talking about that like terms that means here you are seeing that one expression that is on your screen 
C plus C plus D plus D plus C plus B. So here clearly you can see that there are three types of variable which they are using in this expression C, D and B. So you can add all the C. C, C, C that will be equals to 3C. D plus D that will be equals to 2D and there is only one B. So finally your answer should be 3c plus 2d plus b i hope you understand what i mean to explain so let's see that what is given here so yes they are also explaining that there is one b three c's and two d's so when you'll add all of them so your answer will be b plus 3c plus 2d and then you'll get your answer so it will be helpful sometimes to put the terms in alphabetical order and if you are not putting that in alphabetical order then doesn't matter of that one also that you will get your answer correctly so i hope you understand what i am explaining here and if then any question related to any type of simplification then you can ask to me thanks for watching my video bye bye